Well, we're here at Fall Quilt Market, and Sandy, I know that you came out with, with Secret Garden earlier in the quilting way, but I know that you've added um, solids, a lot of solids, and also the laminates. And so yes. I'm, I'm want you to talk a little bit about all the exciting things that you can do. And I know that one of the other things that you've done is you have reworked some patterns using solids and accent pieces. And I think those are right here and behind you. This is my Claire pattern which we haven't printed in a couple of years. And by popular demand, I <laughs> use demand, uh, we're reprinting it. And yes, I have worked in, we ha I have a line of solids with Michael Miller and I'm really excited about it. I've wanted to do it for a long time because especially with my design sense, it's, it's a little busy, I'll be, fairly honest but it's pattern it's pattern design so uh -huh. so it is busy by nature but especially in creating clothing it's nice to have a solid to break it up and the solid is the same density cotton as secret garden is printed on it's okay. a, it's the higher density cotton it's really soft um and it's going over really, really well. It's, well it, and it brings out different accent colors from the printed fabric. Yeah, yeah. The, there are 12 solids and it's taken directly, the colors are taken directly from Secret Garden. So there's, there are these blues and sort of the periwinkle and the mint, which, which my curtains are. And mm -hmm. we have these greens and taupes, which quite honestly, are sort of ugly colors. <laughs> <laughs> but they look great on a pillow like that. I, but in I a way, like it. it's, that's very in to, to combine sort of two ugly colors and it's, and it's pretty. <laughs> well, it, you know, it just depends on what your decor is and that, that yeah. would be great depending on what your decor is. Obviously, you don't want to put it probably in a pink room, but on the right. other hand, you also well, have some yeah. other solids here. There, so. There's the nice... There's the nice purples, and, and again, this is that periwinkle that's it's in this same, with the blues, and they just really go together. I, so, like, why <laughs> it, was, was, it was really easy to come up with the color, the solids, actually, I mean, but they work really, really well together. Now, something else I wanted to talk about is you've done some really exciting things with the laminates, and one of the things that you've done is you have... Um, just a, a simple ottoman like you could pick up at Target, at Walmart, just any, any store. This came from up. Target. And so what you do is you just pick up an ottoman like that and you can actually wrap the, the laminate around it. And I want to um, have you explain to people how easy it is. It's, it's a no-so project, isn't that It right? was a completely no-so project. The thing that was really great about this, I've actually used these boxes before with my 40, 42, 44 inch fabric. And I did have to sew the seam because okay. it wasn't white enough. Uh -huh. But the great thing about the laminates, it comes on a roll and it's wider. It's, I want to say 52 or something like that, but it's wider. Right. So I did not have to sew this project at all. But with the top specifically, so I bought the cube. It's just a storage cube mm -hmm. at Target. I want to say it was on sale for $12.99 or something right. like so that. Right, so this is an inexpensive It's project. a very inexpensive project. And I put an extra layer of batting over the top and then you just lay it down on the fabric. You could finish it much prettier on the inside, but the other really great thing about the laminate is that because it's coated, it doesn't fray. Right. I mean, I cut this pretty messy because we were in a hurry for quilt market and that's how you get ready, but it's, I mean, it's not gonna fray at all. And then just with a staple gun, staple, 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 and then the seam for this one, you can see I just folded it. Right, and you just stapled that as well. I just, I just stapled it in. And yeah. It's the type of project that you could get as fussy or specific as you wanted. But well, what it's I love so is, that, is that you have the autumn, and you already have the autumn, and just as you do, you use it with different collections. If mm -hmm. someone wants to change up their living room or sewing room or whatever, all you do is just go ahead and buy some new fabric and do the yeah. same thing. And and I did the exact same thing with with this with the bigger one. With this right here. It was it was eight dollars at Goodwill. And, oh my goodness. And really ugly and. We just stretched it over and stapled it into the bottom and added the molding. It was probably a $10 project. So you just so. go to a flea market, go to yeah. a garage sale, whatever, and pick up something that you think is attractive. It has the right lines and then... And the laminate is so great that it's, it's smooth enough that it can be gathered, but it's durable enough that my kids are going to eat on this. <laughs> <laughs> this will be a table for it, them. It will. Be a... <laughs> but 
it'll wipe right off. Uh -huh. And the other thing that's great is I've done, I've tested and sewn a lot with this and you can actually, I've had success putting it in the washing machine. Really? On delicate, okay. on cool. Okay. And then letting it air dry. So you just loop it over something to dry. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's and, wonderful. And it's worked for me. The coating hasn't come apart. And yeah. then the other thing is you've done, you're going to be carrying some bags now. Yeah. Uh, this is all the laminate as well. Yeah. This is, um, I really love this bag. It's, I'm a big farmer's market uh -huh. goer. I think we've talked about farmer's right. markets before. Exactly. But I wanted to create a bag called the farmer's market bag because there are all these market bag patterns. I have a market that I call the market bag pattern, but this is the perfect farmer's market bag pattern because my rules were that when I go to the farmer's market, I have to be able to set the bag on the ground so that I can handle the produce so the bag has to stand up on its own and then I wanted it so that I could carry it like this. Uh -huh. I didn't want it to be a shoulder bag because then you squash what's Every, inside. Yeah. You got so, peaches or apricots. Yes. Yeah. So this, it's per it's perfect. We, we did so many prototypes to make the <laughs> perfect farmer's market bag. And I did the first one in the spring. And so I carried one of these bags all summer. And I can attest that I took it to every farmer's market. So this has been well tested. Yes, it's been well tested and it's the perfect farmer's market bag. Well, and this is great too. This shows you just how nicely the laminate drapes. Yeah. It's not heavy yeah. oil cloth or anything. It's actually, it drapes just like fabric drapes. It does, it really does. And I, I love that, you know, it looks just very soft and... But at the same time... It's not as sturdy. You can, yeah. I mean... You and, can, but you've you got, make, you've got this stabilized. Yeah, I was going to say, you've got this stabilized. But that's another thing that's really great about it. People think, oh, it's laminate. You can't fuse anything to it. But there's fusible interfacing on the back of this. Uh -huh. Just use a, a press cloth. Okay. So yeah. make sure you use a pre yes. press cloth. Yes. Okay. I would. I mean, I didn't test it without one because I didn't uh -huh. want to damage my iron if it didn't work. But. Right. But you did. But that's what you did for this, yeah. in fact. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. This is exciting. I love to see the new substrates, the new solids. This is exciting. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. It's always a pleasure.